Hello, hello there, and welcome back to War Thunder to a slight rant video. Today I'm in the Leopard 2 Panzer Battalion 123, the well known German 10.3 premium tank. And um, so, first of all, what do I want to address in this video? Well, basically, what used to be better in the past that made War Thunder ground forces so attractive to me and why I do not really like it in this day and age. Now, I guess Gaijin tried to improve it, but there is a German expression that is called Verschlimmbessern. So that basically means you try to improve it, but you make it worse than it used to be. And Gaijin did this excessively. And there are certain things that are falling together, you know, it's not just the one thing, but there's also a second thing, and both combined then are making it so much worse. And this is where I just want to talk about the sound system, the premium spam together with the economy, drones and helicopters, then city fights, aka also some fights on small maps with modern tanks, and then the traction on slopes. Now, it's a little bit different through the battle ratings. I think that lower battle ratings are not that um, drastically affected by this than higher battle ratings. And especially top tier is absolutely unenjoyable for me personally due to all of the things. Now, my gameplay is not perfect. I know this. But I don't want to bring forward this gameplay as proof of concept. So let me just try to um, bring the arguments home and then you let me know in the comment section if you agree, if you disagree, have you any sort of solutions for the issues that I just, you know, talked about. Let me know. So the first thing is the sound system. The sound system in War Thunder is overall not bad. However, it used to be significantly better in the past. And also, I just want to mention that especially with tanks, it used to be one of the strengths. I loved also uh, city fights. I had no problem uh, with city fights because I could hear the enemy approaching and the enemy could also hear me. There was nothing wrong with it. But especially in city fights in this day and age, very often I do not hear an enemy. And I'm not talking about that the enemy has its engine turned off. That's the use of a game mechanic and it's just good thinking if somebody does this. I'm talking about the people that are clearly moving with a running engine and you just don't hear them. And then you just get killed by a guy that just, you know, comes around the corner from behind. Or it gives you the wrong direction where the sound is coming from. That's infuriating and absolutely is a kill choice. On longer range maps, it doesn't matter so much because you observe a certain section of the map and uh, you just really have then not the issue with sound because they're too far away to be heard in the first place but you spot them either with uh, thermals, night vision device or just by using your Mark 1 eyeball. So sound system absolutely busted in this day and age and I have no idea why Gaijin felt the need to uh, change it because it was a working system. It was a working system and now it doesn't work. And so many complaints have been for, uh, had been brought forward and it hasn't been solved. It always was um, fiddled around. Then we had it a bit better. Then it was worsened again. It, it makes no sense whatsoever. And I absolutely hate the state that it is right now. The second one is that there is a lot of premium spam. If you look at your teams, be it not just tanks, but also especially ships and also planes. Most matches, it's over half the team composition, both on your team and the enemy team, and up to 90% or sometimes in some cases, 100% of your team or the enemy team or both are actually um, consisting of premium vehicles. And if the premium vehicle then is particularly strong, then it's absolutely a bad experience. And there are dozens, if not hundreds or thousands of vehicles in War Thunder, but just a couple of dozen actually get regularly played. So the huge variety of uh, War Thunder's vehicles does not get used. That is bad. And it makes the potential of War Thunder uh, really narrowing down to 
a bad experience. And this also has to do with the economy. Uh, I think throughout the years, the grind has been really made worse. You get less RP, you get less silver lines. The exception here is uh, naval forces. And um, then also the stock grind is really brutal because while with World War II tanks, especially German ones, you have basically the best usable shell from the start. Um, when you are going in with a high tier tank without thermals and without AP FSDS, with the bad performance of heat rounds, issues problems not fun right and so that goes back to that people getting forced from their perspective to invest into premium vehicles further increasing the premium spam then the next thing is drones and helicopters there used to be a time when it was basically just tank versus tank combat with the occasional aircraft and the aircraft could be threatened by spa but the introduction of helicopters especially the ka-50 which could destroy tanks basically out of render distance um, with impunity and there was no counter to it and also the implementation of drones that are just spawning very high up the battlefield basically out of the radar range of uh, or the radar dome uh, to a bit more to be a bit more precise of spa is an issue and they are just there to revenge kill and that is also bad and infuriating i don't like the way that it was done good idea very bad e uh, execution the next topic is especially at uh, higher tiers and top tier the amount and the layout of city fights or small maps in general if you have a modern MBT with thermal imaging, with AP FSDS and laser range finder that can lock onto enemy targets or, you know, target them at very long ranges, five kilometers in plus in theory, and then you basically force them to play at point blank range in city fights, you know, and you then do not make the armor model with um, uh, volumetric armor with also the interaction of very thin armor with AP FSDAs properly, then that frustrates people. And that also interacts with the sound system that I said before, where you are, you know, somewhere and you just observe and you don't hear an enemy tank to pass by. And very often you have those very, very narrow um, opportunities to shoot down a tank when it goes through um, a gap between buildings. And then you have issues that the server is not responding properly it just adds up to frustration and it does just not work that you use maps that were initially apparently designed for reserve tank or really low battle rating tanks you know that have limited mobility that have limited gun firepower and you use them very modern MBTs over and over again and again, I think that this is a little bit of a choice by the community that sees it in the short run, right? Because apparently, according to what some people think, a brawl is just more, uh, is, is just better for the grind. You get more civil lines, you get more RP because you have more combat interaction. But at the end of the day, it denies you so many capabilities of those modern tanks. And uh, I would, see it not in the same way if we had a good mixture of uh you know long range maps and some brawling maps then i would say yeah it's variety uh, it's variety but no we have city fights over and over again and uh, one final thing that has to do with certain special maps for example ash river um it used to be a better map than it was reworked. And one final thing that I especially noticed on Ash River was the nerf of traction. Instead of reworking certain broken uh, positions on maps, Gaichin globally nerfed the traction on slopes and therefore killed so much potential positioning capacity, it is not funny anymore and uh, so the gameplay that you experience right now has nothing to do with what it was like in the past so as a long-term player i see this as a big loss i see this as a worsening of uh, what used to be the case 
And that's it for me today. So thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Again, let me know in the comment section what you think about the topics, the various different issues like the sound system, premium spam, economy, drones and helicopters, city fights slash small maps, and the traction on slopes. There is so much more that I could talk about, but, you know, let's just talk about this. Again, I'll read all the comments and uh, I'm really interested in your opinion. And why not give this video a like if it is, subscribe if you want to see more, and we'll see each other on the waves, in the skies, and on the battlefields of War Thunder.